but I was able to dream outside those fucking four walls of that small town. And until you're able to really put yourself into that dream, but don't make dreams your master, that's where you truly become what you're destined to become. What do you mean, don't make dreams your master? A lot of people sit back and they dream about being a sports figure or dream about being a SEAL or dream about being an astronaut. And all it is is a motherfucking dream. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. When you become the master of your fucking dream is when you say, I want to go be a Navy SEAL. And you say, okay, I'm going to lose 106 pounds in less than three fucking months. The dream was the one thing I thought about and the dream was now gone. Now, what comes in, the dream goes away and the fucking laundry list of fucking details and tasks come up. Gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. That's when you become the master of your dream. So, a lot of people out there dreaming. To me, it was humanly impossible to even think about going 30 more miles in that shape. And once you do it, what, what came over me when that shower hit me and, it, and the reality hit that I just went 101 miles and that last 31 miles was something that I can't even describe to people and she's like we gotta get you to the hospital so at the time my mom was seeing this doctor and he was like you know so so she's describing to my mom what I'm going through he's like you gotta get in the hospital now and I just said just just shut up and let me enjoy this pain I don't want anything to numb it. I don't want anything right now. Because what I had done was I just, in my mind, and people will take this wrong and take it as wrong as you want to, I don't really care. I had just climbed a mental wall that was amazing. And I didn't want anybody to take that pain away from me at that point, because that was all confirmation.